quarantine content day two shitty chef's table this is the bursting with flavor episode nobody asked for but we're all getting we're gonna deal with the neat asian things found at some random grocery store there are lines uh at every ralph's and whatnot and that i should say is a demand issue not a supply issue the people who are delivering it are delivering the same amount they expected for every other month up until this point. I would recommend uh, going early if it's really essential. When I say essential, not uh, Levendi essentials, just the essentials. And then get weird with me in the kitchen. You do have a lot of time on your hands, so maybe, you know, find the joy of cooking, dust it off, and work your way through a couple recipes. The most important thing right now is uh, a little trick I call managing your expectations. Manage your expectations. What that means, back to my time in fake space, I fully expected to be eating, you know, those MRE rations of just pure chalk, right? Or the weird gruel that they had in the matrix. But they actually had Y2K prepper food. It was dehydrated turkey dices out of a paint can. That doesn't sound all that appetizing, but it's better in comparison to what I thought was just going to be the same brick every day. Other than food though, you know, think about managing your expectations when it comes to the bed I expected, you know, like a slab of like two by four and I ended up with, you know, a Casper-esque mattress. It was a twin size in a little tiny hole and I didn't have a whole lot of world. You ain't sleeping on concrete under, you know, a really posh house like in Parasite. You ain't eating cockroaches on a freight train circumnavigating the globe like in Snowpiercer. You ain't in a Bong Joon-ho movie. You're just hanging out at home. So that's pretty good. You like that. You like your home. Ish. Rent. Nah. I get it. Um, and so, with that, let's get cooking. All right, we are going to let one of these guys unthaw, or thaw. I don't know. What is it, Charlie? In order to thaw it, you got to unthaw it, okay? So just keep that in mind. If anyone tells you otherwise, well, they got problems. <clears throat> Thank you, Charlie. Yes, Please sir. Please slowly back away and oh, not yes. touch me okay. again. Keep All right. moving. Okay. Keep her healthy. Yes, sir. So real prepper food is dehydrated, so to get decent flakes of salmon you gotta keep it in water and let it rehydrate for several hours this is a salmon first off find yourself a wisconsin shaped cutting board rainbow shard that i separated from the leafy bits and uh just get the colorful stuff on their own and then we just dump that on in a little white pepper in the mix this is our new base, and we're gonna roll with it. Tear up this, uh, it's like spinach, so get a little rough with it. 375 for 15 minutes or so. Get soft. I don't read Korean, so I'm just gonna wing it. Um, putting it in the cast iron like everything else. It's a little soupy, but the answer is more heat. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, Mama Burst team used to make me these little rice cakes for breakfast, brunch, with some Napa cabbage and soy sauce, oil, shrimp, it's all took. And that was amazing. That's what I always come back for. Favorite Mama Burst team dish, of which there are many. Charred's good. It's a good crunch to the softness of the Rice cake. These rice cakes are called nian gao in Chinese. It's one of the 82 words I know in Chinese. I'm gonna keep eating. Uh, bon appetit on your end. Um, tomorrow, let's get back to that stockpile and get savvy with uh, what you need beyond the food. Yeah.